Hello friends, and welcome once again to another tale of terror and tragedy and genital mutilation and all kinds of other bad stuff that happens to me. <clears throat> Today's tale is the tale of TMI about TMJ. Now I'm going to start this tale with a little bit of a preface. In the area where I live, there's just like this amazing epidemic of girls who don't give head. They just don't. And I don't know why, because they love receiving it. I don't know if it's just a new feminist thing where you're like, you don't suck a dick, makes you less of a woman. I don't know. But it does suck. And I have ran across many girls like that where they're like, see a penis and they're like, ew, gross, I'm not putting it in my mouth. That's fine, I guess, but it is kind of a problem because, as a lot of my tales have been about, is girls not really giving good head. And I think that that could have been rectified if they would practice or do it at all. And that brings me to today's tale. I was with this, uh, this girl named Cammy. Cammy. And, uh, she was one of those adamant that she would never, ever suck a dick. But she loved it when I'd go downstairs. Which is okay with me because I love to do that. For me, going down on a chick is the best part of sex. But then again, I've never encountered a bulldog and ass, roast beef, chewed up, sandwich looking vagina. All might have been relatively nice, which is weird considering the amount of women of ill repute that I have slept with in my days. But I guess I'm just lucky. Anyhow, one night after a very voracious time of me going down on her, I was like, look, I do this for you, and I will do this for you. I will do this for you instead of having sex. Like, if you, do, if you don't fill up the sex, but you just want me to go down on you, I'll do that. Because that's the kind of gentleman I am. But could you please please just try to give me head and so after much prodding and much begging and everything that I had to do to make it happen she's like okay fine I will do this for you once one time and that is it it's like I, I hate giving head I don't like doing it I have TMJ, so it's a problem. It hurts my jaw. At the time, I didn't know what TMJ was, and many of you might not either, but I think you will after this little story. So anyway, she goes down there, and like I've said many, many times in the past, I'm a little bit thick. It's hard for girls to put their mouth around, but she did. She managed, and I could tell it was hurting her, like, uncomfortable, and I felt bad. But it also felt pretty good. She was really working her tongue. And I was like, fuck yes. Uh, you know, so she's giving me head for a couple minutes. And it's feeling really good. Like, some pretty good head. I was like, man, you should do this more often. When all of a sudden I felt her grip tighten. Like, her teeth and mouth and everything, like, tighten around my junk. To an uncomfortable level. I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And I looked at her and she looked very panicked. Now, apparently... People with TMJ sometimes uh, get lockjaw, where their mouth gets stuck in a certain position, and they can't move. So I have this girl looking up at me, panicked, clamped to my wiener, and she, we can't we can't pull it out because it will literally tear the skin off my dick, and fuck that. So we're freaking out. She's like on my dick. And my pants are down, and it's her shirt's off. So, like, at this point, going to the doctor, not an option. We can't, because we would both be pretty much naked, and she would be attached to my junk. So I was like, okay, okay, what do we do? And I thought, and I was like, all right, I have an idea. We're going to sit here and wait until my erection dies down, and then we will slip out. And then I'll take you to the doctor, and they can do whatever they got to do. And the whole time, I'm apologizing profusely for making her give me a head. I know this is never going to happen again, and I know that she hates me with an internal, eternal scorn. 
I could feel the daggers flying at me through her eyes. But anyway, I was like, okay, I gotta just calm down. So we're sitting there, and it's really hard to lose this erection because her mouth is so warm and wet, and like, it still feels really good. And she's starting to get frustrated, I can tell, and so I'm waiting. It takes about 40 minutes. 40 minutes, and then I start to go soft. I'm like, yes, okay. I'm about to pull this out. And I look down at her, and all the time sitting down there in pain and frustration has finally started to get to her, and she starts to cry. And I don't really know what this says about me, but looking down at her and seeing her cry made me go all the way back to full mast. It just gave me the biggest raging erection I've ever had. Oh my god. And yeah, I'm not a good person. So, you know, eventually it goes back down and we slip out and I take her to the doctor or whatever. And she hates me to this day. But it is what it is. Girls should just give more head. That's the my story. And then maybe you wouldn't get locked jaw on a cock. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But, yeah, that's my story of uh, TMI about TMJ.